Right, I'm at local golf camp uh, with Catherine, who's Curious C. I am Curious On C. Twitter. And Catherine's been running a session this morning. Catherine, what was your session so about? So the session was on identity. Um, what does digital identity mean, particularly in a civic and a democratic context? So the sort of starting with the final conclusion, the question that we were left with is can you, should you, and how can you manage your and control your digital identity? Um, because the issue that we see is that the transparency and the, the life leak potential that drives you to join the different bits of your persona up online is a thing that we need to reconcile with the fact that sometimes it's a good thing to keep your identity separate and that actually the world's not ready for understanding that organisations are made up of a bunch of people with different ideas. So we had a really good, really good discussion about it, played through a lot of different things, some, some contrary positions about the idea of, um, you know, are extreme positions positive or negative in a, in, in a debate? Um, how, how do you manage the social capital that you create and then take from an organisation? And, and ultimately, is it your employer's business, what you say in your off time? So it was great. Um, it feeds into a research project that I'm doing as a sideline um, and also through the Democratic Society where we're trying to do some work around democratic identity. So it was fabulously useful mm. and they were a brilliant group of people. So that's, that's great. I, I'm interested that you say that the world's not ready for organisations that are collections of different people with different ideas. Mm, I'm, I'm not sure I'd agree with you. I, I think some of the organisations that best use social media, like if you look in the private sector, some of the companies that best use social media are the ones that are um, actually perhaps the most profitable. Uh, right? and, and you take an organisation like Gifcap, for instance, who mm -hmm. actually make the, their entire business model mm -hmm. is around this idea that we're a bunch of people trying to get something done. We completely mm -hmm. agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, um, the reason we said it, though, was that we felt that the public sector is architected towards a very process-driven sense of organisation. That it's, it's still a post-industrial model, mm -hmm. if you like. Um, and that the idea of um, collaborative, co-productive and networked behaviours is quite alien to the way in which we have customer-driven you know, sort of, uh, customer driven top-down public sector delivery. Um, and so perhaps it's not organisations per se, but that the public sector and the public aren't necessarily ready for the idea that you're made up of a bunch of individuals. And, and one of the examples here was that there's not enough maturity in the conversation to accept that you're perfectly able to have a point of view that differs from your organisation mm -hmm. and to leave it at home and do your job really well. And that's a conflict that all officers come across at some point um, and it really stifles their ability to participate and that's a question of identity. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much.